from Massachusetts. He's going to park the car, he's going to party, and he's going to take it away. Okay? So, Dave, it's a pleasure having you back. It's basically, I put a 32-hour class together for misfires. Um, I, don't, I was asked to write a misfire class, and I don't believe you can do a class literally in four, six, eight hours. You just, you got you to cover too much. Um, <clears throat> what I want to do is I'm a mobile tech, and I go to shops, and when I go to shops, the cars have either been there for two or three days, or the car's been back over and over and over again. So the, basically, I do is I go in there and I'm looking for a new diagnostic direction, and that's all I'm there for. If you got to understand, the crank sensor and the tone rings are a big thing. If the if the PCM cannot process that uh, that sensor that signal correctly, to me that's garbage. In. All right, guys. Hey, the first one's going to be a 2005 Ford uh, pickup truck. We got a couple weeks of working on this thing. Uh, this car, a lot of these cars that I've been doing lately with these Triton motors, I'm not picking on the Fords. Uh, I, I have a horrible time. I, I, I pick on Ford when I teach classes, and the Ford guys get all bent out of shape. But I explain to them I owe, I owe them $98,000 between two trucks, and I can call them whatever I want. We have the, if the spark plug, if the, if the coil's in the tube, is it going to leak? Now, notice, this is the way I want you to check it. If I put that out there at 35 kV, and I'm holding that up about six or eight inches, is that going to jump to ground? You're going to jump six or eight inches to ground. And this is a Toyota. This car's got brand new, got brand new coils, and it's got brand new plugs. Now look at that. So I know that test light, the kid's eight dollar test light works, right? I got two leaking coils. I go around, see it? I made that mark. I put a little marker on that. You can't what see that. Let's keep it simple. If I think it's being held on, what I do? If I disconnect and it's still there, could the solenoid be stuck? If I take it off, I'm going to add power to it. It should do what? Click, 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 right? If I take the, uh, the solenoid off, crank it over, the oil should spit like over my head, hit the hood, right? Hit the fender. I think if it hits the hood, it hits the floor, and it hits the wall, that's got to be 50 PSI, right? Maybe 48? Okay, so I'm just saying, so simply we can really check this. Just keep it. Do I care about the VVT? Do I care about the, I don't care about the, I care about the combustion process. That's all I want you to do. Guys, thank you.